Ah, it's Sunday, January 1st, 2017. Happy New Year! Confetti. I got a low budget, so I gotta make it on my own. Just visualize it. That's that's what we're gonna do this year in 2017. We just gonna visualize the things that we want to see. You know, you want to see confetti falling and balloons busting open and fireworks. Pshum, pshum. I'm creative for you. Pshum, pshum. Is that how it sounds? It, it maybe not. That better, probably not. But it's okay. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, kids, animals. All of you, it's 2017. That means that we can no longer blame it on 2016. <laughs> Whatever goes on is on the back of 2017. Yes, and this is the beginning of a new start. And I told myself in 2017, I'm going to do more. I'm going to do more. I plan on honestly making 300 videos this year. I, I really do. It may surpass 300. I'm hoping that it does, but I want to do at least, at least 300. This is the, the very first day of my daily videos for the world, you know, out there in the internet land, you know. This is day one, and today being Sunday, what better thing than sanctified Sundays? Yes, sanctified Sundays. I just got from church, as you can see, wearing my nice sweater. I just, I, I'm just feeling the spirit. This is one of the songs that I sung this morning, you know. And I just want to share it with y'all real quick. I just want y'all to, I just want y'all to go there with me. Come on, come on. Something about the nature. Something about the nature. Yeah. Is the sweetest name <laughs> I know how I love the name Jesus. Sing it, boy. I love him. Here is the sweetest name Ooh, I know. Some people think I'm crazy. Oh, Lord. I don't want to have church in here today. I don't want to have church in here today. But it's the truth, man. It's something about that name, Jesus. You know, a lot of people may know him as other names, other terms, and that's great. But in my life, he is Jesus. You know, and that's what I wanted today to be about. I didn't want to come up here and, and start pointing fingers and start telling people what they need to do and how they need to do it and who they need to do it to. No, I really and honestly just want to focus on me because I'm the only one that I have control over. I cannot tell, dictate, or make anyone do anything, you know, unless they give me that power. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will not. So my goal is not to persuade to force or anything like that. It's just to focus on me and lead by example. And if anybody wants to follow behind, then we're going to walk that path together. You know, I'm above no one. You know, so that's what I want this thing to be about. I feel like in 2017, I, Joshua Lee Whitfield, will definitely feel an uproar in my spirit when I hear the name Jesus more in tune with my spirit you know to become closer with my god to really and truthfully understand who my lord is a lot of studying a lot of getting out of my own way a lot of getting out of my own head you know a lot of a prayer way more prayer than i had in 2017 16 excuse me see it's gonna take a while for us to <laughs> For us to get past 2016, I know a lot of y'all are going to be writing 2016 for about two more months. It's okay. We understand. that. But that's like I said, that's the goal. I want 
to be closer to the Lord. I want to learn. That does not mean that I'm going to disprove any other spiritual beliefs. I feel in order to truly become one with your spirit, you have to study. And that includes all the other, you know, religions or spiritual beliefs. I, I was reading today um, in church, Second uh, Peter. We were talking about false prophets, and in one particular verse, it was saying how we crucify things we do not understand. And how can I tell you that you're wrong if I don't even take the time out to learn what you know? And like I said, the goal is not to tell you you're wrong, but I feel like it's even more of a, of a, a shame to tell you you're wrong and I haven't even taken the chance to actually learn what you're even talking about. So that's why I say this year in 2017, I will focus on me. I will continue to build my spiritual connection with God. And um, I pray that everyone out there in internet land does the exact same. Take time to learn you. Don't go out trying to tell somebody that they wrong or trying to persuade and dissuade and all those things i mean if a person comes to you and they ask then that door has been opened but if you knocking on that door and they don't answer leave leave because you're only causing an issue where there wasn't one and that's something that i feel in 2017 i will be doing more of so that's what i wanted to talk about today I'm focusing on me aspect of the whole thing in order to truly be closer to god i'm going to have to know god a lot more than i have in the past and like i said we came from second peter chapter two it was talking about false prophets happy new year to everyone out there those who do look forward to this year being great great those who don't feel like it's going to be much of a difference Great as well. Do what you want to do in 2017 as long as you're not hurting anybody else. Y'all have a blessed remainder of your Sunday. We'll be sure to be back tomorrow with another themed video. So y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exclusive content. Y'all be blessed. Happy New Year.